Okay, so from the uh, question, how we can add the uh, uh, the bottom detail of this curved wall and then uh, extend the rebar. So this is what we're going to do. Uh, at first, we need to add a concrete part. So this concrete part, we can use this uh, uh, this part, IRR underscore H with this information. So you just simply pick the two points. So one and then two. All right, now enable for this to follow the curve. We need to get the uh, radius 2850.68. So we need to put that one on the radius here. 2850.68 and then the segment will be 59, the maximum one. And there you go. So all you have to do now is to add this to the cache unit here. And now, since you have already the uh, uh, the reinforcement here using the uh, uh, crossing or longitudinal rebar set, so what we need to do is to add the guideline. So what I did here, okay, if you notice this one, I have this uh, original guideline, and then I'm going to add additional guideline, which is the uh, uh, you can use the uh, end detail. So just simply pick this point. And then you just simply stretch that one, stretch it to the other side here. So if you notice, that one is already uh, <clears throat> already extended if you add the end detail. Now, how this one uh, extended to the, to the other part? So basically this... Uh, this guideline, okay, this guideline is for the end detail guideline. So here, as you can see here, uh, uh, if you check your properties here, you will see this one as empty. Modify, it's like this. Okay, now, if you go to the length adjustment, just simply select end offset, and then you just simply key in the value. Let's say uh, we want to add uh, uh, 180, enter. And then it will extend 180. Now, for the bending here, you can just simply select this one and then 90 degrees. Or you can select the custom hook and then change it to maybe 50. Modify. And then there will be a custom hook. And then here you can change this one to 15. A smaller uh, radius. And then you, you're going to have now the extended uh, vertical bar on the bottom connection okay so again you need to add this guideline and then modify this guideline accordingly so this is the guideline if I delete this guideline then it will be uh, it will go back to the original so undo so here you have this guideline again this guideline you can just simply refer to the uh, properties of the rebar and detail modifier here Okay, next is uh, uh, another question is how to add the loop bar on the curved beam. So basically, again, I'm going to use a longitudinal bar and then uh, maybe do this one. Click that or sorry, maybe uh, um, longitudinal bar. Yeah. So again, what I did is I used the longitudinal bar and then make it... Um, make it this way okay so if you notice here it will uh, when you pick this edge it will give you, it will highlight the uh, the shape of the uh, curve wall but under the longitudinal bar just pick the top part and then select this uh, side and then middle button of your mouse and there you go so you have now this this uh, bar here so one option here is to add an additional uh, end detail here at the edge but again if you add the uh, edge or end detail at the edge so this this will happen okay sorry we'll uh, change this one so select and then 
change to the uh, or is that one here select this one and then here as you can see here length adjustment modify and then another guideline select the guideline and then modify but uh, again if you uh, select that guideline and then if you extend this one because of the curvature it will not follow accordingly if you type here 200 I think this one should be okay if it is 200 okay so the length will be 200 so that one's still okay but here the moment that you increase the length of this one it will go outside so if I type here uh, 500 then it will go outside so it's not the proper way to do it okay so what I will do is I'm going to undo this until I get the uh, the normal one okay so select again this bar group and then there's an option here at the top add leg face the other one is leg surface if you add the leg surface then that one will be the leg surface so I don't want that one I'm going to use only the add leg face so leg face meaning you can use the uh, um, you can use the segment of this curve wall so here if I click one two three four so five six seven so you can see here you can use the segmented uh, part of this curve wall and then you can choose which uh, how how much length you want to put on this uh, loop bar on the edge of the curve wall so just clip the surface and there you go you can uh, you can get as much as you as much length as you want and then the good thing is it will be according to the curve okay so just repeat that one on the other side here again so you you use the uh, longitudinal bar and then click on this and then there you go select select the bar and then add leg face so here one so click as many or as longer as you want so change the face one two so as you can see here you can sum up the distance that you are picking from the um, from the segment of the curve wall all right then um, another question is uh, how to add the mesh for the curve wall so basically for the mesh um, if you use if you use the slab bar uh, if you use the slab bar here there is a option slab bar number 18 so if I click on this one it will add uh, it will add the bar group but this one is not a mesh it's a bar group okay but again this one this wall is not just a simple wall what I did here is uh, it's a different way because this if I change this one basically for to to mesh oh, okay it, it works as well sorry it works as well but the problem is it will not cut okay so this one is the mesh now so let's say for example uh, the top bar i will change this one to mesh as well and then modify yeah it works it's a mesh but again the thing is it will not uh it will not cut this uh according to the opening it will not cut the mesh but you can add the mesh on the curve wall using the slab bar to right so the other way is uh, manually if you want to to do it manually okay let me just show you how I did this wall uh, it's not a curved wall okay but it's a cumbered wall so meaning if I select this panel and then click this one one and then one and then two middle button of your mouse okay so here if I if I double click on this one uh, so it's not a curved wall I'm not going to use this uh, bending radius and unlike let's say this one is 2850 no I'm not going to use this one but instead okay instead I'm going to use the cumbering so okay it's not here sorry it's not it's not in the wall 
it's not in the wall but it's under the beam so here if you select the beam the normal beam okay so if you notice here I will remove this bo bo uh, value okay and then you can see here okay let's say for example uh, 2500 by uh, 250 okay and then under this cumbering I will type here 5 meters 5000 so here if you notice it cumbered that way all right but I'm going to change this one to, to front okay and then change this one to 250 by 2500 so that it will be covered so I will put here negative on the other side and then change this one to front so again this one is another workaround for that all right so for the opening uh, again same thing is you need to you can cut the opening using the part cut okay but uh, you can uh, also okay you can let's let's try to to copy this one I don't know if I can copy this cut copy to another object no you cannot copy because it's the other way around anyway you can use the uh, the part cut as well here if you like for the opening so something like put, go, uh, put a panel so if, if you notice here it doesn't go directly to the exact uh, uh, radius here so you can just simply change change it if you like let's say for example negative 550 five, five, yeah, something like that and then uh, select the panel so let's say this one is 1000 by uh, 400 okay so pick one one two three middle button and then this one i'm going to change this to arc point so this one will serve as my opening so here i'm going to change this one to uh maybe left and then here 50 or negative okay then move up move 1000 okay so that's my opening so here I'm going to add now or to uh, use the part cut fall for and then select this one and then there you go you have now the opening now enable for us to add the uh, mesh manually so here it will be difficult for us to add the mesh if it is a curve so since this one is a cumbering or cumbered beam so what you can do is select this uh, wall or beam and then create view undeformed view of part undeformed view of part okay so this one it will give you a straight straight uh, panel or straight beam so from there you can now use the uh, rebar yeah, mesh okay rebar mesh so pick the part to reinforce and then click one two so be careful on the picking point because it's it's very delicate to pick the uh, exact point and then middle button of your mouse and then pick one and then two for the longitudinal and then and there you go oh wow this one is nice because it shows that it cuts also the uh it cuts also the uh the mesh which is quite good earlier in uh, in our component it doesn't cut so this one it, it cuts so which is uh, quite good outcome of adding the mesh here but here if i change this one to no modify then there will be no cut of mesh and then let me change the color here and then change the color to yes then it will cut the mesh okay the only thing is I don't know if the edge bar will work. Okay, let's try. So this edge bar. If not, then we cannot do anything but add that one manually. Oh, let's see if that one works. It looks it works well, the edge bar as well. So if we close this one and there you go. Ah, okay. 
So meaning, um, in that position, the mesh is showing. Uh, it's not showing in the cut, but uh, in the 3D, then it, it, uh, it's still not cutting according to the opening. But I think it's okay. You, uh, you can just simply mark the drawing to cut that one. But the good thing here, even the, uh, the edge uh, rebar is uh, properly working on the curved wall using the company. Okay, so this is, uh, so again, if I select this one and then create uh, undeformed views of parts, so meaning here, it doesn't show the, uh, uh, it cuts the, the mesh, but in the original, in the 3D wall, then it shows the, the, the mesh is not cut according to the, the opening. Alright, so yeah, so maybe you just put some notes on the drawing and then just uh, give them the, uh, the notes that, okay, this, to, uh, this mesh to be cut according to the opening size. Alright, so this is the, uh, how you uh, do the uh, mesh in the curved wall and also extend to the bottom, or the, extending the rebar set to the bottom connection of the curved wall.